showing how the velocity and acceleration of an object changes when you apply a force to it demonstrates Newton's second law of motion. Later, when you learn algebra, you'll learn that this can be written like a math problem. It's written force equals mass times acceleration. This equation tells us that the force needed to move an object is equal to the mass multiplied times the acceleration. If we change the mass of an object, the force required to move or accelerate it also changes. This box has a lot of stuff in it. Let's try to move it. It's hard. I'm pushing as hard as I can. What's wrong? Well, this box is very heavy. It has a lot of stuff in it. That means it has a lot of mass. Let's push together and add some force to it and see what happens. We could take out some stuff so that the box has less mass. That would make it move easier or faster. If we push it down a ramp, it will go faster because we could add the force of gravity. If we push it up a ramp, it will be slower. Gravity will be trying to stop it. In my croquet game, if I want to change the direction of the ball, I can apply force in the direction that I want the ball to go. If I want the ball to move faster, I must apply more force. I can increase the force of my mallet by getting a good swing before I hit the ball. The mallet will hit the ball with more force and the ball will accelerate. Other examples of this are getting a running start to kick a football or a soccer ball or taking a big swing when hitting a baseball.